All right, so we're back again for round four. Tropical Merfolk. We're not on the play anymore. We had three uh, plays in a row. Um, so what did we play against? We played against Pyromancer and Scred and some other deck I forgot about already. This hand I don't think is keepable. I think I'm fine just mulliganing this because it just looks really gross and we don't have any pressure. One of them is a... Yeah, this is just slightly better. And I do not want a second of Isle, thank you. Playing Bogles, come on, I don't want to play against Bogles. So Bogles, if no one's ever played it, is a is Battlecruiser Magic right here. It's playing Commander Voltron in Modern and it is a pretty damn bad matchup for Merfolk. One you definitely don't want to see. So here, this may sound a little strange, but I think what I want to do here is actually upkeep cast Merfolk Trickster to tap down core spirit dancer and make it lose its abilities because I don't want them drawing a card off of um, off of that second ability there whenever you cast an order spell you may draw a card um, that because I think they're probably wanting to go, like turn three they want to go ham on the um, on casting all their auras so let's just go ahead and let's go ahead and make them not can trip all their auras. They're probably like, what are they doing? I don't want you drawing cards. Now you may go. Sure. Hit me. Perfect. Alright, so we're going to race them. So, there are a couple things that you definitely don't want to see when playing against... Um, Slippery Bogle, sure. Definitely a couple things you don't want to see when playing against Bogles, and that are those are enchantments that give lifelink, and enchantments that give trample. Because those are just so... Um, they bury you. You can't keep up with them. And um, it's just it's just a, a, a mess. I, I think we're, we we might do pretty well racing here as long as they don't have one of those. Um, and like we're hoping to draw like a spreading seas here. That'd be nice. Well, Mutavolt is fine too. Um, so we'll we really got a miss binder, and that's fine. So we're gonna swing in. Put them at. It might block. I'm fine with them blocking. Nope. So so we've we've got a powerful, um, powerful start here, but we can't really race a damned um, daybreak coronet. We can't race a daybreak coronet. We can't race a um, an unflinching courage. Like those would be a mess. This is fine though. Castle of Spider Umbras. Get them. And a Dryad Arbor. Alright. That's not scary at all. Alright, so. There. I don't know what's up with their strange um, hand, but. Like, I am fine with. Fine with that. Okay, so. We're just gonna get aggressive, man. Sure. I mean, that's a good block right there. Oh. Yep. Do some trading. Sure. I'm gonna go ahead and put in a Lord of Atlantis. 
put you at six. All right, now I think we're in the clear. Oops. I don't think there's much they can do about this. I mean, they might have like path into first strike makes things awkward, honestly. And if they if they play a daybreak cornet, we're gonna be in hell, actually. <laughs> Spirit Mantle? That's not a Daybreak Cornet. There's no Trample, no Lifelink here. But they're going to force us to chump. Oh, no! No, we just lose. Wow! That's wild. Yeah, we just lose. Because they have protection from creatures, so they've got unblockable. Damn. Yeah, Bogles is a... Shitty matchup. Get out of here with that. So what's good against Bogles? You want counter spells. Like counter spells are where you want to be, um, and that's about it. Oh yes, you want to have natural state, of course, so you can destroy those enchantments. Um, I think Kira can stay away in this one. It's not a big deal. They have path, but that's about it. Um, they don't use their graveyard. Uh, what's not any good? I guess curse catchers are unnecessary. Rather have the power on Kamena speaker and Am I missing something? What's just bad? It's not phantasmal. I think just Mistbinder comes out. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's fine. This is I mean this is just a gross matchup for Merfolk. It's never really gonna be any good. It's like But this hand looks fine. So the cool thing about like a lot of their spells like just straight up require um, like white white or um, they don't have a lot of colorless costs so if you spreading seize their lands a lot of times it's just a feels like a strip mine a stone rain maybe I should say same thing sure um not very well timed, Ether Vile. Let's swing for two. And let's. Let's blank that Razor Verge thicket, I think. That's the best chance we got. Sure. Honestly, I think I'm just going to cast a, another Spreading Seas. Like, this this matchup sucks for us, and like it might just be that it comes down to cheesing them out. Playing dirty de degenerate bogles. I'm gonna dirty degenerate spreading seeds. Your dirty degenerate lands. Forest, basic forest. That's fine with me. Seal of primordium. Yeah, that's pretty good. They're going to blow up the spreading seas on their untapped land. Sure. It's pretty good. Spider Umbra, sure. The cool thing now is that we are going to have unblockable with this Lord of Atlantis. And we're going to be able to keep up Negate too, which is really good. So, we actually do want to draw land here. That'd be... That'd be great. 
because we want to keep up this negate while also putting down a lord right now. Or we can just spreading seas again. <laughs> I think I'm good with that. Hell yeah, and there's the land, wouldn't you know it? I think I'm cool with just playing the Lord here. Now that we've got the spreading seas down again. Let's just cheese them out. Hey, spreading seas is for ensuring that you get island walk, right? To ensure that your creatures are unblockable. But sometimes, but sometimes, you just have a lot of fun by watching your opponents not have any fun. I I don't know why they cast Dryad Arbor or played Dryad Arbor as their land before casting Spider Umbra. That seems like a bad play because you might draw a land that you would rather play over Dryad Arbor. Sure, swing six, that's fine. We're getting pretty low, but now we're going to have a negate in hand, and we've got another lord, that's beautiful. So, the better play is to just play, play a silver gill adept, play a lord of Atlantis, swing, leave up negate, that seems good to me. We could swing with a Mutavault now, and swing for 4, 8, uh, 11. Oh shit, we killed them. Yeah, we just win. <laughs> I didn't do the math, hell yeah. Here, I will show you now that you are dead. Heyo! Right on. Okay, so. Do I want to change anything? Um, a snag for the um, for the core spirit dancer would be fine, but it's also, it would feel real bad if it was a dead card in hand. Um, I think we're just fine the way it is. Just play it like this, hope to cheese them. Bogles is no fun to play against. I guess it's fun if you play it like that, where you have three spreading seas, but otherwise it's not very fun. You have to make your own fun when you're playing Bogles. You don't you don't have fun by playing normal magic. So far, I'm actually really liking this deck. I, I mean, I haven't given it a ton of testing, but um, it, it feels really smooth to play. I like the, I like the low curve of the deck, um, and Kumina Speaker seems just fine. Feels like a, feels like a two mana Lord that you play, or a two mana, two two that you play um, for one mana instead. Nice aggressive hand. Two spreading seas. We're gonna have fun again. Let's just keep having fun. Why not? And they're on a mulligan. Let's make them regret it. They kept six and then put a card on top. Sure. No first creature. That makes me think they have a core spirit dancer. God, look at this. Are you in are you kidding me right now? <laughs> We're gonna have fun. We, I mean, it might just be that we're just a turn too late because we're on the draw, but it looks cool. Sure. Slippery Bogue. You got it. Two two first strike. That pairs up pretty well against my Kumena speaker, and we're just gonna hit them with a. Hit them with a C's. Again, I think that's better than just not casting anything, especially, or it's better than casting, I think, one of these creatures because we know they're on a mulligan. 
there's a horizon canopy. So it looks like they're fine actually. Daybreak cornet, yeah, that's a that's a mess. Now we're gonna be a little bit we're in a bad position because daybreak cornet sucks. Um, so we're hoping to draw a natural state or something. Um, so let's try to find it, I guess. Let's play a silver gill adept. Nope, that's not it. Um, I think we're just gonna lose this, honestly. This just doesn't doesn't look good for us here. Yep. See, this is the thing where it's with when you have life link. Um, it's just a big mess because life link just puts you in the hole so much. Um, now they're gonna gain ten life, and we're just so far behind. It's unreal. Yep. Botanical that makes it awkward. Cast a silvergill to help chump again. Nope. All right. If they find a card that gives them trample, they're just—they've got it. Sure. Griff spoon. Yeah, that gives it to him. Ugh. Gross. Yep. Bogles is no fun. No fun to play against. Oh well. Uh, so what, we're 2 and 2 now? So let's see if we can salvage this um, in the next one and go 3 and 2. Until then.